Hey everybody, JC Hildebrand from MotoUSA.com. What we have here is our 2007 Honda CRF 450X project bike. Uh, first thing we had done on this machine was send our suspenders off. Watson Performance is based out of Hood River, Oregon. Uh, Tom Watson went through not only our fork, but our shock as well. Did a bunch of internal stuff, you know, revalved it, got the right spring rates for our ability and speed. And we can't tell you that the difference was just enormous. So that was a huge part of the test right here. Secondly, we wanted to clean up the way the bike ran. Part of the big problem holding this thing back anyways was that it was a California legal model. I mean, it was, it was meant to run in all states and that meant it had a lot of uh, emissions control. It was all centered right here. As you can see, we put in a Precision Concepts block off kit. What that allowed us to do then was bypass all of that emissions control, yank that stuff off of there, save a little weight. And in conjunction with that, we put a new exhaust system on it. Free it up a little bit. This is a Dr. D Dubach Racing uh, full system SA exhaust. We did a product review on that. You can read more about it if you like. Excellent piece as well. And on the other end of it, we got open, you know, it's opened up flowing out, so we had to open it up coming in. What we did was chop the airbox out. There's some easy airbox mods you can do that kind of basically turn it into a 450R airbox. Cut out the top, as you can see, I can put my hand down in there. Um, just made it a lot more accessible for, for more air volume to start flowing through the machine. So more air in, more air out and no, uh, no emission restrictions meant we had to clean it up still. I mean, the jetting was not all, you know, in spec anymore. So talked to the guys from Precision Concepts because they're used to unplugging these things. They sent us some jetting specs. I uh, got it dialed in a little bit and uh, they made it run a lot better. So all that was left after we cleaned up the motor and, and made the suspension work better was to kind of tidy up the bike and make it more woods ready. We did that by slapping on a set of hand guards, bark busters, uh, protect those digits. Also, Decal Works kicked us down a set of custom graphics, Moto USA graphics that we installed with the Rapid Tack installation system. Uh, easy on, looks super sharp, kind of made things look a little more factory. Also, we went ahead and slapped on a set of Maxxis tires. Um, Maxxis is really stepping it up in the off-road world, so we figured we'd give them a try. And uh, you know, that kind of got things rolling as well, a little extra traction for us. Here on the back side, we also hit up uh, Fred at Racing, and he, he was able to send us out a, a chain guide. It has uh, some special features where you can easily replace the slider in it, so it, uh, it's kind of easier to maintain, plus it makes the bike super trip. Overall, uh, you know, it was a real successful project. We don't even want to give it back to Honda because it's so much fun to ride, but uh, definitely some things that if you're in the market to hop your bike up, look along the lines of these companies. They can help you out. They sure did us. So. Thanks to everybody involved.